Holly here for PlayStation Access. Now I'm talking to Marie from Spiders about Greedfall, which is an upcoming RPG. We've just had a quick chat off camera and I'm now completely intrigued by this. Cool. Um, <laughs> let's start, I guess let's start at the beginning. It's an RPG, but what is the setting? What's happening in this game? So it's um, on an imaginary 17th century um, universe, uh, Fantasy 2. Mm. So we're really inspired by the century for all the closings, the architecture, the art in general, like the Flemish painting, for mm. example, for all this really beautiful colors, you know, like uh, the autumn red, red and the yeah, gold. exactly. And um, so it's a story of um, a continent, that a, a continent with uh, several countries, like we're going to just call them factions, living there. And um, they all have their own uh, you know, philosophy, so some are more about religion, some are more about science, because of course there's lots of discovery around this. We also inspired, like, we kind of fitting the uh, discovery of that time, but of course we allowed ourselves to, you know, use a little bit of um, more modern technology, but yeah. we... Well, there's still a fantasy element, yeah, isn't Yeah, exactly. You know? And uh, so there's magic too, like the religious people they can use, um, like the magic of light, for example. And you have merchants, of course, and sailors and mercenaries. And um, in that universe, they, um, unfortunately, a, a disease is spreading through the continent. And people start to um, really be being anxious because no one finds a cure. And then suddenly the sailors just announce they discover a new island. So um, people just rush to that island hoping that uh, maybe there's a way to find a cure. And in this island there's some uh, native people living there in communion with nature and using the magic of nature. And uh, even after all the, the first contacts they not uh, developing the disease at all, so they they seem immune to that disease. Okay. So um, the story set place in that island, with every factions uh, start starting to settling there and to uh, try to find answers. And um, and you playing uh, the cousin of the governor of a new city. Okay. And you uh, will be tasked for all the diplomacy. Uh, things to do on that <laughs> island so you're visiting all the governors and you will have companion with you during your quest and it's really based on narrative and diplomacy now before we go back into narrative diplomacy there is combat in the game yeah sure uh, so let's just get that bit out of the way because that's not really the sole focus but it is there and you have done some work because you guys are saying what studio is nine years old and this is your yeah. six rpg yeah exactly so you do know what you're doing when it comes to this yeah but let's talk a little bit about the combat sure. um, because it does sound quite there's got some pace to it yeah um, previous game we did was tech, the Technomancer and we had a lot of feedback on our fighting system and um, some feedback was I mean uh, our games previous game were quite hard you know the ex and the extreme mode is really really hard there's <laughs> like no mistakes allowed at all uh, but there was also uh, some people who just like the narrative of our game and, and want more uh, easy fight. Yeah. So what we did in this one is we created a story mode, so wow. with a really more um, easy fight and mm. uh, where the AI is uh, less aggressive, and so you have the time, you know, to fight and but without really have to struggle yeah. it's, it's fight but of course we still have the extreme mode that is still the same <laughs> you want to punish yourself it's exactly still an extreme mode. exactly and um and we gave a lot way more feedback especially um some people criticized a random effect because it was a kind of real random so sometimes when you were attacking several times because of the random you not having um the bonuses you put in at all. So now we have an adrenaline bar that's just getting full and uh, when it's full then you can choose to uh, release all this energy in uh, any skill you want so you can like use on healing or on like super attack or on poison explosive trap anything. Now you did say there are weapon loadouts as well so that give us some idea that there's quite a wide range of weapons. Yes, uh, there's a um, heavy and light uh, uh, sword and uh, like um, 
all, all type of mace, sword, axes, and you have guns, of course, yep. because it was guns at this time. So we have a, they only a one hand gun, but it's a, like a pistol and a, a bigger one. And uh, of course you can craft a uh, weapon and armor. And, um, and you can have two settings of um, weapon with you uh, constantly. Of course you can change that in the inventory, but in combat mode you can swap between two settings, uh, for example, a uh, light uh, sword and, and pistol and um, in one and a, a heavy uh, two-hand mace and a, another one. And there is a skill tree, right? There's yeah. a very in-depth skill tree by the it's, sound of uh, it. It's more than 100 uh, skills you can... Um, wow. Yeah, and it's a way... Um, it's not class-based uh, class skill tree. Mm. It's uh, very open, so you can really go in any direction and build the character you want. It's not... Um, it's not when you start to do like to go with heavy uh, weapon yeah. and armor. You have to continue. No, you can really pick and choose what you want. Like so that. you can have like heavy uh, armor, but with poison or with uh, anything else. We do like that. That sounds good. Now back to the diplomacy. Then, how does this sort of work? Because it really sounds like everything you do has an overall effect on the story because if you're going to be friendly i'm guessing with one faction another might not like it uh it's it's because you're really uh in a diplomatic function so it's allowed to be kind of friend with everyone because that's okay. how diplomacy work but we wanted something way more uh, deeper than just dialogue choices so we wanted uh, more actions and choices um, like the player has to think about what he's doing like just having this uh, uh, companion with him mm. choosing to uh, travel with one person then uh, when you meet uh, important people from one faction they could not be happy you to see you with uh, someone from another faction mm. or even sometimes they even not allowed you to enter in their city if you're okay if you have with you someone from a faction they in war with. So companion choice is important uh, and you can you have several uh, camps where you can swap the companion so you can you know just change and continue if you really need someone for one precise actions. And the skills too, I mean if you uh, go more into stealth and lock picking for example you can do things without being noticed so of course it won't impact the diplomacy when yes. if you choose if you choose to do it like more violently, of course it will have a an impact later. Now it does have an impact on the ending as well. The game does have multiple endings. Yes, there's multiple endings, and we really don't want a good and bad ending, like a good karma, bad karma. Yeah, like. It's, well then you did the game well or you, yeah, just, you didn't or do it. You, you were the evil one. Yeah. Uh, we want something that fits with uh, what the player did the whole game. I mean, if someone uh, go in one direction and think a faction is right and, and do the thing in a way or just um, with, which, with compa which companion is friend with or uh, is going to have the ending that fit with that. Mm. So we want, we want every player in a way to be happy with his or her ending because it's what he was yeah. aiming for during the whole game now uh very finally just want to is this an open world rpg semi-open world how it's, do we, it's, you mentioned it, cities yeah it's a semi-open world uh we have big areas with several camps where you can you know fast travel okay. and uh and craft and uh change to swap your companions but we we didn't want it a full open world because we really want to be able to control the, the narrative aspect yeah. of the game. But yeah, the three main three big cities: uh, one from the religious faction, one from the scientist, one and one from the merchant. And then you have lots of different uh, native people, village, and lots of you know caves and uh, things to discover in there. So yeah. Uh, thank you very much thank for your you. time. Guys, don't forget you can stay tuned to my YouTube channel because there is loads more coming up from PlayStation Access.